Hey everybody, this is Ian with Ridgeline Pursuit Guide Service and we're here with an update on Hank. Hank is 21 weeks old now. So we're gonna do a quick update with him. He's get, about getting too big for me to uh, pick up and hold uh, at this point. And uh, so we're just gonna do a little update and show you Hank's progress. We've uh, generalized kennel and here, uh, or his recall work. Uh, so he's doing really good on that stuff. We've been working on uh, some distraction and uh, distance training with uh, those two commands. And we are starting today on his woe training up on the woe table. And uh, he's had one session of this so far, so it's still pretty raw, but he's doing pretty good on that. So we'll show you that. So here we go. He tries to anticipate a little bit, getting on the table. Good boy. Kennel. Now what I don't want him to do is I don't want him to get off the table until I give him another command. So we want to get him to, to stay there until he gets another command. That is his place training, so we want him to stay in place. Here. Good boy. That was good. Still tapping the hand. You probably couldn't see that on camera, but uh, trying to get a little bit of more distance away from Hank. And again, I don't want him to anticipate like he is right now. Um, so he's not going to get clickered for that because I didn't give him that command. Count. Boy. Good boy. And we're just going to do a little, little 360 walk around him. See that distracted him for a second. Count. Good boy. Uh, get on there. Just a little correction for him. I clickered him and he stepped off. Don't really want to mark that behavior, but I did. So just work through it. See if I can get a 360 on him. He stays. Do another 360. Just trying to build a little bit of momentum in his training here. Build a little momentum in his training for his woe table training. Here. understanding a little bit more about what I'm asking him to do now, so that's good. Here. Good boy. He reacts a lot off body language as well. Obviously, all dogs do. And so what I don't want him to do is think that my body language 
is telling him to do something that I'm not telling him to do. So right now he's, again, anticipating the command. So I'm not gonna reward him for that. So he figured it out. He wasn't getting what I wanted him to do. So he's back over with me. Good boy. Count. Marked that a little bit early, but that's okay. Here. So a couple repetitions without a tree, just so he knows. He's still, still supposed to do what I'm telling him to do regardless of whether or not he gets a treat, but he still understands that the clicker means that I'm, he's doing the right thing uh, for the command that I'm giving him. Here, this will be our last one, good boy. And now we're gonna move into the low table training. All right, so we're gonna be moving into de, uh, to Hanks, not demos. Uh, Hank's woe table training. Um, as you can see, I've got him on a, an elevated platform right now, and that's really just to control the dog a little bit more um, so that he's not uh, kind of moving around, getting fidgety and uh, doing things. I've also got him harnessed up with uh, a suitcase harness, which I'll show you in a different video later on. That just gives me a little more control in correcting the dog in their position. Uh, as you can see right now, he's a little bit unsure of it, um, but uh, that's okay. And uh, I've also uh, added the e-collar in. Uh, I'm trying to do that or remember that on a more regular basis. Um, whenever we're doing training is just having the e-collar on him so that he gets used to it. It's fun, it's not something that's a punishment. It's not on and we're not using it today, but it is a, a piece of the training that uh, uh, we needed to add in um, as of a couple weeks ago, probably. So here's some low table training with Hank. want him to be comfortable standing where he's at and all we're really going to do is make sure that Hank stays exactly where he's at no foot movement nothing like that as we move around him and start introducing a little bit of distance and distraction and uh, and then we'll start uh, overlaying the command uh, as he's doing what he's supposed to be doing Very unsure right now, and that's okay. This is brand new, we've got a tail tucked. So just reading the dog, I know that he is uncomfortable right now. He's not exactly sure about this. Hank? Good, good. Oh, good boy. Not, not accepting his treats. He just needs to loosen up a little bit. Just relax, it's okay. It's all right. Good. Good. Starting to get a tail wag. So he's starting to accept some treats right now. This is just going to be a slow moving process. Some dogs react differently. 
My other two dogs were very much worried about, or not worried about, the table and just trying to get off. Hank is obviously reacting a lot different to that. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. So Hank's doing pretty good on the woe table, but he's also not moving too much. And so he's not 100% going to be able to figure out what it is that I'm asking him to do. So what I'm probably gonna move to immediately is just a walking woe. And uh, we'll put him on a pinch collar, um, on a lead, and we'll walk him and woe him uh, so that he, he starts to understand not only what the command means, but also what I'm trying to get him to understand. Whoa. Good. Maybe he's not liking the harness. Maybe I'll try to remove that. Wolf. Good. Whoa. So he's had a couple little movements, which is good, just those small corrections, just so that he knows that I want him to stay absolutely still. He doesn't get to take one step. Just being patient with him. Whoa. sure your dog is balanced comfortably though too you know that if they take a step because of balance that's one thing but if they're balanced correctly whoa yeah good if they're balanced correctly then uh there should be no reason for that step, good boy. 
And I think that's about it for today. I think Hank's had enough. He's a little bit unsure still, tail's still a little bit tucked. So we're just gonna read our dog and, uh, and we will move to the walking woe uh, as another uh, piece of his woe training because he may respond a little bit better to that than he is on the woe table, at least at this point. So that's all we've got for you today. Thanks again for joining us. If uh, you got something out of the video, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we'll see you all soon.